Dairy farming is a form of agriculture that is dedicated to the production of milk and dairy products from the care and feeding of cattle, mainly dairy cows. Dairy farmers focus on managing the health, welfare and milk production of animals to obtain the highest quantity and quality of milk possible. Dairy cow farming can be a great way to diversify your income. In addition to selling milk, you can also sell the calves, the manure, and you can also do farming with this manure. The cow dung can also be used to produce cooking gas known as biogas. The ideal temperature for railing the dairy cattle is between 25 to 65 degrees. So, how do you succeed in dairy farming? Well, let's engage with our farmer of the day and get to know more about dairy farming. So guys, stay tuned and watch till the end to learn more about dairy farming. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Nelly underscore Bernard. In case you are new here, karibu sana. In case you are returning subscriber, welcome back. This is the channel whereby you get to learn different ways of farming and different ways of livestock keeping and different ventures including the new ventures that you've never seen before. Today, my focus is on dairy farming and I'm in Meru County whereby I've met a very big farm that is practicing exclusive dairy farming. So guys, without further ado, I'm going to introduce the farm manager who is going to take us through the farm and show us the practices that they make and how to have such a profitable dairy farm. So guys, let me introduce my farmer. So karibu sana Tony. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Habari yako? Mpua sana. Aya, nimetembea kwa farm yako leo. Much welcome. Aya. Introduce yourself to my people. Okay. I'm Tony Muchui. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, as a farm manager mm -hmm. of teams. Yeah. Okay, so starting from here, what do you do here? I can see up and down Siaga Jakula Yangombe. Yeah. So, anyway, Nipian grass, mm -hmm. and my Indi, mm -hmm. na dry. Okay. Mm. Okay, so do we now get right inside and see how the sharp cutter cuts and explain to us? Yes. Yeah, so let's go inside. Uh, so, Tony, what do you do here? How do you chop it? Tell us. Sasa hapa, hini machini. Ya kukatakapia ngombe chakula. Tunatumianga just, this is a betu. Okay. Hatunange ya stima. Oh, hakuna ya stima? Hakuna ya stima. Okay. Yeah. So this is generator driven? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So this is where you chop your feeds for the day? Yeah. So apart from easy zenye me chop fresh, umesema this is a mixture of napier? Napier grass. And the dry, yeah, dry pots dry. for the beans? Yeah. So apart from this one, what else do you give to your keto? Meals. Uh, mm -hmm. And napier grass. Mm -hmm. Um, and other green. Okay. Do you also give silage? Yeah, silage. Even we give silage. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what about the concentrate? Do you also use the concentrate? Yeah. Okay. Like for instance, I can see that is the store where you keep the the, the concentrate. Yeah, concentrates. Okay. I uh, so now can we now go and see the cows? Yes, we. Okay. Uh, I uh, take us through more about the cows now how many cows do you have in this farm 24 mm -hmm. mm. okay and i want you to take me through the routine of the day in your farm sasa kupia ngombe inalingana na kuna ngombe wanga tunafint every morning lunch time and evening okay zaji sina kamuliwa tu so as if you do is not the same way Aya. Na zile za azubui na njiyoni peke. Ehe. Mm. Then, zen, zikani zinafidua subui na njiyoni peke? Zile azikamuliwi. Zenye azikamuliwi. Mm. Sasa hizi zenye tuku hapa zote zinakamuliwa? Aha, sio zote. Hizi ni zenye zimebeba tu. Ok. Na zinakamuliwa. So, so hizi umezi group into sections? Tell us now about the group. Ntuanze na hii section, tuko hii side. Hii mm. section, niambia more about the hii section. Kama hii section, mm. zile mingi, almost mm. zote, eh. zinakamuliwa. Ok. Eh. Sasa, ni gani enye inakamuliwa the, the, the highest producer yako? Ni yes. kuna maziwa mingi kabisa, yes. ni, ni, ni maziwa kama litangapi pande? Pande. Mm. Pande, let's for example, kama azuboi. Mm. Kuna enye inaproduce about 
10 liters. Mm -hmm. 12 liters, 10 liters. So the total of the whole day itakui mekamuliwa litangapi na munakamua marangapi kwa siku? Maratatu. Munakamua maratatu? Okay. So I know different farmers have different routines. So routine yenu munakamua sangapi na sangapi? Tunakamua kitu six. Afternoon tunakamua kitu twelve. Pandati. 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 And the and in the evening at what time? Saturday. Okay. I so me say my your biggest producer ikona toto ya maziwanga pi per day. Per day, kitu kama thirty four, thirty five. Oh, that is a nice production. I so easy zenye zina kamuliwa feeding feeding routine yaki kuaji per day. Per day ni three. 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 Three times per day. So sanga pi na sanga pi tu eleze. Asubui. Uh huh. Saa saba. Uh huh. Jioni. Is it as we after milking? After milking, mm -hmm. then we feed. Okay. No. Sasaba na jioni. Sasaba na jioni. Do you feed the same type of feed? Ama ni nini uyo una feed? We feed the same. So I kama ni ile enye umesiaga pale ndo utaipea as we lunch time na jioni. Ita chenjua. Hakuna change. Oh, but in case kuna silage, I think you give silage in the morning. In, in the morning. Mm -hmm. Afternoon hmm. and evening. Oh, so you and the routine you go evil. Okay. I assess now. Now I can see go very clean. Yes. How do you maintain the hygiene? Apa? Hmm. Sasa una kujanga kama ilo wakati una clean. Hmm. Sasa una zakuja upitia pitia tu kido kido. Hmm. Kama ukikuta tu unajua kila wakati una fanya general clean every morning. Una fanya anga every morning. Uh huh. Sasa ukikuja tu kama masaya asubuhi mm. lazima tu pitia pitia tu na karaki kidogo kidogo mm. eh oh. every day so mnaosha asubuhi pekee asubuhi pekee na ina, ina maintain kukua all that clean mm. aya <laughs> so eh hii ngombe yenu moja ngombe moja inaweza kula chakula kiasi gani pande pande mm. it it depend kuna yenye ina kula one packet mm -hmm. Mm, by every milk mm -hmm. na kuna yenye na kulanga one packet mm -hmm. and half mm -hmm. mm, according to the body size of the cow okay so hizi zingine eh wewe consider ngombe kama ile eh na feeding yai okay Sindio? they feed differently they feed different okay sababu ile ndio inakula sana sana kuliko eh. Yeah. Sasa lazima uiongezee kama ni kwa baketi moja uiongezee yeah. kama kanusu tu. Oh, does it mean when inakula sana ndipo ina produce sana ama? Eh. Yeah. So ndo iko top of production. The more cow ngombe inakula the more ndo ina poa poa sana. Okay. Yeah. So do you only keep keep yeah. 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 ingine? Mhm. Mm mm. Unajua hata inategemea anga na ngombe. Mhm. Eh. Yeah. Uh, unajua kama ngombe jika every time mm. kwa feed mm. uwezi, uwezi produce small milk eh uh, eh uh, okay like now i can see the shark kula na zikarai eh uh, alafu ipate time ya relax uh, kama kulala eh uh, uh, you know kama sasa hizi melala zime uh, relax uh, sasa breed zote zenye mnaweka hapa ni the same ama what type of breed do you have here kuna hizi christian kama zile Persian. Mhm. Mm this is a black and white. Mhm. Mm so zote ni Persian. Ni Persian. Okay, they are the best of the different. But there is one there that has a brown and white color. Asha. That is Asha. Mm. Okay. So umesema hii section tumemalizana na hii section. Umesema hii section zinangoja? Is almost zote. Mhm. Mm Zimebeba. Mm, Okay. Uh, so the oldest cow hapa ni ni kama miaka ngapi? Kuna yenye hapa kama hii Asha. Mm. I stand more than 20 years. Mm -hmm. eh, And eh. it is still getting milk. Eh. Na iko like very good for production. Zio mm. eh. oh. So at what stage do you reach mnaona sasa hii to destock tuanze kuleta to renew now the nini? Oh. Kama ni eh yaani ile miaka yenye unaona hii ngombe sasa Enough is enough in my casa na uze. What the, what is your duration? Unajua sasa kama hapo ikifitanga. Mm. Ile time ya insulation. Mm. Sasa unajua inategemeanga. Mm. 
kama lethe for example kama hapa mm. insulate ngombe ni kama ikiwa na ugonjwa mm. e, unaona every time treatment 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 mm. e, mm. sasa ndio inafikanga wakati tuna insulate okay mm. which is the best breed according to you the best breed mm. yenye na produce a lot of milk eh yeah. eh unajua ha kuna hii hii melala hapa mm-hmm. ndio inakuanga most the best hii mm-hmm. melala hapo mm-hmm. your frisian so alafu inafuata na hii uh-huh. mhm alafu kuna nyingine hapa zenye zinakuanga na the best production mhm alafu this one eh, this short variety eh, variety yes i was about to ask you juu naona zingine ni mrefu zingine ni fupi eh So what do you look for kujua unacho kuna mtu anaendanga in a certain farm anaenda kununua ngombe na juu zile characteristics anafaa angalie ndo apate ngombe ina produce vizuri unaenda kuwa disappointed so what should the buyer be looking for akitaka ngombe ya kuenda kulisha kwa farm yake sasa unajua hata unaangalianga mm. mimi sasa kama mimi nikikuja mm. hapa naweza angalia even capacity of the stomach mm-hmm. unajua kuna zenye uanga na tumbo kubwa mm-hmm. yani imeteremka chini tu mm-hmm. sasa hii hata nikiangalia hivi mm-hmm. kama yenye melala pale mm-hmm. na hata hii mm-hmm. eh inakuanga short ref alafu eh sasa hiyo ndio naangalia na tu naona ikiwa na high production okay eh, eh. So hakuna kitu kingine tunafaa kwa tunaangalia tu angalia ya anda na anda bila watu kusema sisi ya anda of the, of the body of the car Okay najua kuna ngombe unaweza kuja uangalie tu hmm. one hmm. we produce a lot of men Okay yeah. let's for example to take for example na ngombe hmm. yenye kwa hapa hiyo hmm. kutoka kakiwa katoto kandogo hmm. at six one year na hmm. months hmm. Yeah. One year three months ndo sasa inakuwa served. Eh inakuwa served. Okay. Yeah. After ikisha sabio inachukua miezi ngapi ndo izae mtoto? 9 months. 9 months. Yeah. Okay. So what about the nini? The young calves zenye ziko kule ndo mzi transfer hii side. Mna zi transfer ni when they have already been served ama when they have already served. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sasa eh, ni nini inafanya most of the people wanasema like they are serving their cows like twice dry na bado yeki the calf. What unajua, are the reasons? Unajua sasa mm. kama na wandrisi mm. have become a very biggest issue. Mm. Ya ngombe kuweka alafu after few months hakuna kitu imeweka. Mm. Mm. So what is the issue ama hiyo kutupa, kutupa kutupa sasa hiyo ndiyo tulikuwa hata tuna discuss mm. sababu watu wengi mm. wanalalamika sababu hiyo issue mm. Mm. ngombe wanakuja wanaekoa mpira ukaka inatupa so, na wandris so yeah. so it, it is even like a challenge to the challenge dairy farms, to the farms. Oh. Yeah. do you think it is an issue with the feet ama bado amwelewi ni vetu watatuelewe hiyo maneno sasa hiyo kitu ndio atujelewa vizuri mm-hmm. it is still being done research yeah. for sababu nilitoka tokanga huko akasema kuna mwenye ameweka yake karibu more than five times mm. boundary wiki okay yeah. so you've been a manager here for how long for for 3 years for 3 years yeah. sasa unaweza ku unajua roughly hii farm ilianza lini and how long has it been going on that long mm. but unajua alianza na ngombe kama moja okay yeah. na sasa ako na mingi sasa sasa hizi ako na mingi so it is like a uh, nini for like 10 years there the 10 years uh, more than 10 years more than 10 years, than 10 years. years. like more 20 years, years. Yeah. so you guys have been keeping these cows for more than 10 years. 10 years. Mm. Aya, so I can see it is very clean the structure is so nice. Mbona why the choice of tiles kwa hizi feeding traps and the water traps? Like tiles. Mm. Let for example. Mm. Ehm hata um, uchafu uchafu. Mhm. Ikwangi mingi. Mhm. Na hata kupangusa inakuwa rahisi. Okay. Mm. So it's so easy to clean. Easy to clean. So naona hii ni ya maji. Mm-hmm. Alafu ingine ni ya chakula. Yes, so na, and then I can see you have divided the sections. How many cows are in one section? One, one cow. It depends. Unajua unaweza weka hata ngombe tatu zenye sinakaa zinasikizana tu. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. You know most people Unajua say kama hii inakaa peke 
peke yake kama inakaa peke yake ni kumaanisha inapenda vita inapenda vita <laughs> but, sasa ikiingia hapo itagonganisha hiyo na si poa eh, sio poa aya sasa most people say that eh, cows like are so friendly but sasa naona zingine ziko ziko very nini kama hii ni nini inafanyanga zingine zikuwe hivyo ama tu ni jeans zao ziko hivyo unajua hmm. inategemea kama hii hmm. let for example za hizi iko na ilitoka huko chini hmm. sasa unajua ime introduceiwa hmm. kwa niyo nini section nyingine okay. sasa ikikuja ikiwa mgeni ikiwa imetoka huko hmm. lazima ionyeze hmm. hizo zingine oh vita oh ikuja na tabia e, zake ikuja na tabia zake sasa <laughs> ilikuwa imezoeana na hizo zingine huko chini aya so about the drinking water how often do you change the water do you keep clean e, sasa hapo inategemea every morning every morning you put e, fresh water e, na toa yenye imalala mm-hmm. na osha nayo alafu mm-hmm. na pengine okay yeah. so hygiene is very important when it comes to keto to the keto it is a key thing yeah. uh, so which are the most diseases zenye zinawasumbuanga kwa livestock especially zenye zinakamuliwa hii side ni diseases gani ziko so prone most hmm. mastitis mm-hmm. mastitis mastitis yeah. is it because of not milking well ama what causes it najua sometimes inalingananga mm. na wakati mm. kuna ngombe wanga tu mm. hata ukikamua aji mm. milk fever sasa hata ukikamua tu mm. unajikuta una inaikuta tu imekuwa affected na hiyo ugonjwa yeah like the freshness they are so prone to mastitis yeah, and they can see yenu ni a pure freshian farm it is only yeah. one asha that i've seen there yeah. so how do you manage that Unajua sasa hapo mm. ikifika hapo sasa ndio tunaitia daktari mm-hmm. ama mm. ama tunatafuta hiyo dawa kuna dawa yenye wanga tunapaka inaitangwa mastrite mm-hmm. sasa hiyo ikikuja tu upake mm. asubuhi yake unaamkia ikiwa sawa mm-hmm. yeah. but i can see you also ensure kuko clean juma setis pia inakuja na na hiyo uchafu hiyo uchafu, yeah. uchafu especially kwenye zinalala yeah. Aya so kwenye zinalala naona you chose to go with sand this side the other side i can see you have wood shavings mm. in in different farms unapata kuna kwingine kuna mattress mbona nyinyi muli choose to put the sand and the wood shavings unajua sasa hapo mm. eh, kama hiyo mattress mm. unajua tulikuwa nazo tulikuwa tumeweka mhm tulikuwa tumeweka mattress mm-hmm. basi Hmm. Ilitegemea tu ikabindi tuzitoe hmm. sababu ya ngombe mara imekonjolea hmm. every time clean hmm. ngombe tu inachafuka okay e, inakaa sasa inaanzia kutoka toka ngozi hmm. e, oh. inaichoma e. paka inatoka ile ngozi okay hmm. I, so i know in every dairy venture there must be some challenges which are the major challenges in this dairy farming the main challenge mm. yenye tunapatanga kwa hii farm mm. most ni kama viropoto ina lakini inategemea na season okay mm. hizo parasite mm-hmm. yeah. oh hakuna challenge ya kama maziwa hivi inatoa maziwa mengine itoe maziwa ama hakuna challenge kama hizo na diseases sasa unajua challenge mm. sometimes inategemea kama chakula iko mm. kama imechelewa kidogo mm tuna fizi hiyo challenge ya ngombe sasa kama kama zimekatiziwa hiyo chakula hiyo mm. dakika mm. unajua kuritan hiyo maziwa tena mm. you have to take time oh and also again before, the the fins are expensive yeah, expensive okay sasa before you rundi say rundi normal okay it have to take a lot of time uh, so what would you advise someone who is there wishing to venture in dairy farm sasa ile kitu naweza sema mm kama ukiwa na hii mfugo na ina produce a lot of milk you be you must be careful let's for example in terms of feeding kama chakula ya ngombe hiyo mix chakula yenyewe ya ngombe kama unakamua ngombe you are supposed to in time unaleta ya ngombe chakula mm. sababu kama let for example zeme kama nduka huko asijafunguriwa mm. it nitaleta kesho na ile zilikuwa zinategemea ime Meisha. Mm. Na jizo ngombe sitarundi nyuma kidogo. Mm. Na kuzirundi za ile nini normal mm. ni too expensive. Okay. Na kwange expensive. 
Okay, so so unaambia watu watu wenye unasikia kufuga ngombe aji chakula mm. muhimu. <laughs> Wagwe ready. <laughs> eh. Yeah. Aya. Kama kama imebaki kama ngumi ya mbili. Mm. Naletea ngombe tu. Mhm. Afadhali hata usiongezee kidogo mm. before hiyo ingine ikuje mm. at least kama ni hiyo chakula ulikuwa na findi nayo mm. reduce lakini sio sikosa kabisa. Okay. Mm. Alafu tena they need to be there taking care of their cows. Yeah. Nataka close monitoring. Yeah. Every time. Every time lazima ukue kwa farm. Ukue kwa farm. Okay. At least hiyo si, ina inatumanga even to detect ile ngombe iko sawa. Eh. Yeah. Mm. Okay so now do we see do we go and see the calves ama mm. we go and see the calves yes okay so which way Sasa ukiangalia hapa hii mm. kitchen eh uh-huh. sasa hapo ni tanki yenye iko ndani hapo eh uh-huh. eh hiyo tunawekanga maji ya moto okay. to preserve maji ya moto eh sasa hapa ya kukamua eh ya kukamua hii hii place nyingine hapa mm ni zile vitu tukimaliza kukamua tunaosha alafu tunaanika hapa, hapa. eh yeah, zinakauka pole pole okay sababu maziwa inataka clean things clean. na vitu yeah. ziko dry ziko dry so zinayakuwa hapo zina dry vizuri zinakauka tu okay mm. aya so now we go to the calf section yes so how old are these calves eh yeah, ziko na less than 1 year okay mm. sasa feeding program yake ndo unasema sasa hii ni asubuhi mm. na njioni. What do you feed them? Mama the same same ni mna feed zile. Oh. Yeah. Are they prone to so many diseases? Ju wengine wanasema calves are so prone to diseases. Sasa unajua kuna ugonjwa mwingine ilikuwa anga nini common mm. hata zilikuwa zime they were treated. Mm. Atujakaka sana. Mm. Kuna ugonjwa ilikuwa anga common kwa hizi. Mm. Eh, yeah. inavimba alafu hiyo kidoda tu inatoa nini? Mm. Mm, Sasa problem. to avoid all that no risk up easy zikwe zi the big guy first what do you need to note the key things we need to do here the key things mm. unajua uh, kama chakula mm. unaipea ipasavyo mhm eh okay. hata kama kama nimbrani kama hizi wanga tunafindi most mm of them na nini na with brand na brand mhm uh-huh. sasa inategemeaka kama asubuhi mhm ngombe inakuranga brand ni nini kilo moja 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 okay mm. oh that's nice mm. so uko juu naona kuna some stores you have stored some animal feeds there what are those mm. those are dry mm. this one in dry chakula yeye nategemeanga. Hmm. Eh. So hapo ndo mna store the dry ah, hay the and the dry, dry matter yenye eh. mna mix na the, the fresh green nipia. Eh. Okay. So uko juu ni stores. Ni ma stores. Okay. Eh. Uh, so now after you milk your cows, uh, where is the market for your milk? Na na kujiango na hii milk parity steel. Okay, you sell to a cooperative. Yeah, cooperative. The famous Meludiri. Yeah. So, how are the prices in the market? Najua inategemeanga. Hmm. Kuna wakati prices inakuwa juu na wakati mwingine inakuwa chini tu. Mm-hmm. Mm, it will depend. Okay, it depends. Yeah. But yeah. still you can't complain. Yeah. You are managing yeah, challenge hmm. kwa farmers. Haya. Farmers. So, do you have like technical assistance and farm trainings do you go for farm trainings and field days as farmers eh how do, do are they so helpful to you as farmers eh the yellow mhm eh okay yeah, so so like for instance same in one month how many trainings do you guys go for we go even once per year once per year. year so that is so long i think the dairy cooperative should focus on that and the counties and the district of agriculture they should focus on training and farmers because many farmers lack the knowledge of dairy farming mm-hmm. if there is a training once per year if i don't make it that's one day in one year then i'm i'm doomed i just wait for the next year okay Eh yeah, well then I think we should improve. So, thank you so much for giving me a tour in the farm. I've really enjoyed being at Teams Farm guys. So guys, don't forget to like the videos, comment, share to your friends.
leave some nice comments down below if you want to ask any question on the venture there are vets in the comment section who can interact with me so guys uh, i've really enjoyed being in the farm so thank you so much for your time much welcome mm -hmm. i've really enjoyed so guys don't forget to like the video comment down below and subscribe to my youtube channel so till next time guys see you in the next video bye